Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 226. And what you're looking at here is a radio I got this week from Amazon, and it was um, $12.95, which uh, some of the other models of this radio, which I don't know how you pronounce it, Chibo or Kachibo or something like that, um, have gotten pretty good reviews, but they cost much more. So I thought, what the heck? I, I'm always looking for an inexpensive shortwave radio that I can throw in my truck and just leave it in there. And when I have to uh, go somewhere and wait around, um, I can pull it out and play with it and uh, see what I can tune in. And I and I don't since. You know, it's less than twenty dollars. I don't have to worry about it getting stolen or damaged or the batteries leak. I don't have to worry about it. Just if it's bad, throw it away and get another one. So here is this little guy. It's the model number is KK one zero one two, and like I say, it's uh, available on Amazon for. I think I got it on sale, and that's what caught my eye, for ten dollars, and the price now is twelve ninety five. And <laughs> it includes, this is interesting, it includes AM, FM, shortwave, and the analog TV channels. You know, when we used to, you know, that when TV in the United States was analog a couple years ago, it would receive the audio on those TV stations. Well, unfortunately, um, the TV in the United States has gone digital. So you can't really receive anything on this anymore as far as TV. I don't know what else you might find up in that area in that band. I have not tried that, but be curious to see what's up there. The shortwave is broken down into eight subbands. And so these are the eight subbands you're seeing here. Let me uh, do a little zoom in here. So you can see the radio a little better. There we go. And that is selected by this switch up here. This uh, switches between medium wave and the seven, I mean eight, short wave bands. Um, on this side, we have, this is the on-off switch slash volume switch. This is a headphone jack, and this is a power jack. Uh, nothing excited on the, exciting on the back. It's powered by two AA batteries. There's a little time zone map there. That's kind of nice they stick that on there. And then coming over this side is the tuning dial, which um, this is the downfall of this radio as far as I'm concerned. You know, I saw the ad and I saw this tuning dial here and I thought, that looks like a pretty good tuning dial. You don't have to use those buttons to tune. To actually turn the knob. Now, it has a drawback, which I'll get to in a few minutes. Okay, and then it has a couple of indicators. One indicator, the first one there, with my fingers in the way, is an LED that tells you that you've tuned in the station properly. At least it thinks you've tuned it in properly. The next one is whether you're receiving a medium wave slash short wave via the switch up here. And the next one is you're receiving FM, oop, get my finger out of the way, FM or TV. This button down here selects either TV2, TV1, or FM. And then uh, this button selects medium wave or short wave. And finally, this is the FM TV button. So you got TV button here and a TV one and two here. I'm not sure what the difference is. Maybe just it. Maybe they break up the TV band into three bands. Don't really care about that anyway, so it doesn't matter. Um, has a fairly long, maybe two foot telescopic antenna. Right there, 
uh, no external antenna connection, no single sideband, no digital display, frequency display. Remember, 1295 here we're talking about. Um, and I've used it a couple of nights. Unfortunately, right now I'm recording in the morning, so there's not much on on shortwave. Um, and it picks up a lot of stations, but here's the but. They're kind of hard to tune with this little tuner here. And the reason they're hard, the reason it is hard to tune, is that it's really stiff. Now, that's good from the standpoint that you can really, you know, tune in and not jump past a, a, a station. But you got to grip this thing with two hands and tune this thing. And let me turn the volume back up and see if you can. There's not going to be much on this morning, like I said. The other problem is, let me turn this back down. The other problem is, I'm in my office and I've got all these computers running and fluorescent lights and everything. So it's getting all that noise. Uh, even my uh, big Grundig 750 suffers from that if I try to use the built-in telescopic antenna. So I have to use an external antenna. So to do a reception report uh, in this office, not going to be very good. But I can tell you that I uh, took it outside away from all my noise and um, the noise that it's picking up right now you don't get. So let's just try it anyway for a few seconds. I have my big hands in the way, arm. That is uh, actually, that's China Radio coming in, um, amazingly enough. And like I say, it the reception is pretty good. It just uh, it doesn't work too good in a noisy environment like my office. So I th I think for you know twelve ninety five I think it's a pretty good deal. Uh, you, of course you can't expect tuning like you would on my Grundig uh, seven fifty or Texan six sixty or something like that. No, that's not what this is competing against. This is in the price range of radios twenty dollars or less, and in this case I could really say. $15 or that, which is not too many of those. I've reviewed uh, two other Kobe radios that were about in that price range. One of them was almost identical to this radio. Didn't look exactly like this one does, but it had the same type of tuning, the same, uh, I think it had seven bands. And this goes from, and it's chopped up, it's not continuous. It goes from 5.75 up to 22.10, and it's it's uh, it's segments, so I can see it's not continuous. It's basically the international broadcast bands uh, broken up into those eight segments, uh, and that really helps by breaking it up that much. That really helps with the tuning, since you, all you have is this one dial. You have no fine tuning at all. So anyway, um, that's the show for today. Again, this is uh, Kachibo, I think. KK1012. It's on sale on Amazon right now for $12.95, I believe. So if you have any questions, have any comments, please do that. Make a comment. If you enjoyed re me reviewing these very inexpensive shortwave radios, please give me a thumbs up and I'll do some more. Uh, upcoming is I finally broke down and ordered one of those <clears throat> amplified antennas. I've seen very, very mixed reviews, kind of weighted on the negative side, but I thought, you know, I'm going to try it. The concept <clears throat> is really great. I just don't know if it's going to work. So I've ordered one of those. I should be getting in next week. I'll do a review of that. 
So that's the show for today. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.